Hi, this is Miss Carrie again, and I just finished reading Made by Maxine, and it was a story about a little girl who loved to use everyday things that she found around her house, old items that she liked to transform into new things. So our drive through bag this Friday for the families at Pinnacle are going to be these cool everyday items, some of which you see here and more. So when I was looking at these items and being inspired by reading the book, I got to thinking about something that I used to do when I was little and I wanted to share it with you. So as you see, you're gonna get you know, some corks, balloons, uh, popsicle sticks, cool pieces of foam, little, uh, this is like a ribbon um, dispenser or roll, excuse me, a ribbon roll. And you're gonna get your own colored tape and pipe cleaners, these cool little packing materials. So there's so many things here that are just so interesting that I know the kids are gonna think of amazing things to do with. But when I saw these corks, it made me think about something that I used to make when I was little, and especially because it rained the other day. So I wanted to show it to you. Um, you can use the materials in the bag that you take home, but what I decided to do too was I kind of went around the house and I started kind of collecting unique things that I didn't really use anymore and uh, saved some containers like from, you know, chips or, or excuse me, <laughs> crackers or, uh, a drink container. I love those little lids that are on the applesauce squeezy bags because when you rinse those out, gosh, those things can be anything. Um, so it, anyway, it made me think of working with my brother and doing activities out in the yard and in our pool. So uh, you'll take three of the corks and then grab a few rubber bands and what you'll do is kind of put these together. Whoops, look, look coming off. <laughs> and what you want to do is have them stay together like this. So it's kind of like a, a base for you. Then I took a piece of paper and I drew almost like almost like the shape of a volcano on it. So I'm gonna cut that out, a little, little smaller than I drew it. Then I'm gonna take a, a toothpick and I'm gonna poke it in the top. Oops, sorry, I was poking my finger now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take it and poke it through the bottom. And if you have, if you, this is a cardstock that I'm using, but if you had like foam paper or anything that, that might be waterproof, it would work a little better because you'll see what, what we're making here when I'm finished. You're gonna take some of your colored tape and just tear off a little piece and see the point at the top want it to be safe, of course. So you're gonna cover the top with the tape. And then you're gonna take your scissors and kind of cut it so it looks like a triangle. So actually, if you look at it this way, it looks like a flag. So then you're gonna take your pointy end and you're gonna stick it into the middle cork and then voila, you have a boat. <laughs> so you can use this little sailboat in the bathtub or fill up the sink with some water. Uh, it's kind of fun. You can blow behind it and try to see if you can steer it and have it go different directions. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share that this is something that fun that I used to do when I was little and I thought it would be neat since what our bag is this weekend is is building materials so if you want to you can build a boat with me uh, and I know you all are probably gonna come up with much better ideas 
and we'd love to see them. So please let us know, send us pictures, and we can't wait to see you all at the drive-thru on Friday. Bye.